हेलो एंड वेलकम टू पार्ट वन ऑफ पेपर सोल्यूशन ऑफ बेजिक एंजीनियरिंग ड्रॉइंग जानुआरी टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन माई सेल्फ अर्पण पंडित एंड आई एम गोइंग टू गिव द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस पेपर नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज डिवाइड एटी एम एम लॉन्ग लाइन into seven equal parts the weightage of this portion is 4 marks now i'll show you how to divide a unequal line into various parts first you need to draw a line of 80 mm you need to draw a line of 80 mm this line should be horizontal give name a and b to this line now as the distance of this line is 80 and if you divide this into seven part then the uh, each part consist of 11.142 mm so it is not suitable to take the parts directly so that's why i am going to give you the method how how you can divide this line our ab line is of 80 mm now to divide a line what you need to do put your scale on point a and draw a line on any random angle but this line should be of seven equal part so i uh, i will take this line of 3.5 mm so that i can easily take the part of it each part of 5 mm as you can see I have divided I have taken this line of 35 mm and divided it into seven equal parts Now if you say this line is a a dash then join a dash b join a dash b now take the parallel projections of the point you have just taken on this 35 mm line and you will directly get equal number of divisions on 80 mm length line as you can see that you have got 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 equal parts draw atm mm line first then from point a at any angle draw a line of 35 mm i have taken this line of 35 mm because i want to divide atm mm line into 7 equal parts i can easily break down 35 mm 35 mm divided by 7 is equal to 5 mm each part of 5 mm i have divided a a dash into 7 equal parts joined a dash b and take the parallel projections of the remaining portions so this is how you can divide a line into equal parts now we'll proceed to the next problem the next problem says that you need to draw an involute of square each side of 25 mm 
this problem's weightage is 7 marks what you are going to do first you need to draw 25 mm square you need to draw 25 mm side square involute involute is something that a polygon is considered as a string and the string is unfolded so our each side is of 25 mm so our side total would be 25 plus 25 is equal to 50 plus 25 is equal to 75 plus 25 is equal to 100 so from the lower right corner I am drawing going to draw a line of 100 mm it is very much advisable that you give di dimensions to the each portion you are taking this line is of 100 mm now what you are going to do <coughs> you just need to extend the sides give the names to the side say 1 2 3 and 4 now take out your protect compass take center as 1 radius as 1 4 make an arc you will get arc like this give this point name P1 take 2 as center to P1 as radius and draw the arc likewise now give the name P2 to this point this point P2 take 3 as center P2 as radius and draw an arc you will get arc like this give name P3 to it take 4 as center for P3 as radius and draw the arc for your convenience I am just highlighting the path here 
in involute you don't need to have a french cow the cow will automatically trust so this shows that if we are going to unveil this polygon into a string then it will be having curve like this we have given the nomenclature to the same we will give name to the curve it is involute also it is very much advisable that <coughs> you have taken the 25 m square so you give dimensions properly so this is how you can make involute of a square first you need to draw a square of given size then take one as center four as radius draw the arc on one to line now take two as center to p1 as radius and draw an arc name it p2 take three as center 3p2 as radius draw an arc we will give name it p3 take four as center 4p3 as radius and draw an arc you will get your involute now our next problem is draw a heptagon using special method each side is of 60 mm now what is heptagon heptagon is a polygon of seven sides we are going to draw this heptagon of special method each side is of 60 mm i'll show you how to draw this firstly you want a heptagon of 60 mm i will draw a horizontal line of 60 mm straight away i am giving the names let's say it is line ab now take a as center take a as center ab as radius and draw a semi circle extend this line ab and get point b dash now we have got this semi circle we want to draw a polygon of si a seven side so we will divide this semi circle into seven equal parts how we can divide it 180 divided by 7 is equal to 25.1 I have taken the divisions of a semicircle now i'm going to choose the second angle because as it is heptagon outer angle of the seven sided heptagon would be 52 degrees so that's why i'm taking this second angle as my another side I 
I'm going to give this as name C. Now I need the bisector of AB. and SE. I've got the bisector of AB. extend this as a projection line it should be very light now take the pro bisector of AC take C as center AC as radius other side we have got bisector of the both lines <laughs> the point where bisector of AB and AC intersects it is called point O take O now next step take O as radius take O as center OA as radius <coughs> 